What's up guys, Epoxy here, and today I'm here to give my opinion on the new reissued Recluse SMG when it comes to PvP along with some gameplay after. I know I'm a little bit late to releasing a video on the weapon, but I didn't want to be that YouTuber who calls this weapon the metal right away, because honestly, I'm not sure that it is. Yes, it is a new fun weapon to mess around with with some nice new perks, and it isn't bad by any means, but I'm not sure if it's going to make the cut when it comes to endgame PvP, like Trials of Osiris and Competitive. So in today's video, I kind of just want to go over it and test it out myself to see how it performs. The first issue I see are the gun's damage perks, Master of Arms, and Desperate Measures, because they don't offer a significant amount of damage increase for it to really be worth it. A 15% damage increase with Master of Arms is nothing crazy, especially when the other 900 RPMs that are lightweight frames, like Out of Bounds and multi muck have Kill Clip that offers a 25% increase. But also, Desperate Measures has a 10% damage increase that can eventually be stacked up to a 30% if you happen to pull off two melee or grenade kills before the timer runs out to keep stacking it, which is very unlikely. I just feel it's too much effort for not so great of a bonus in the long run. So this is the god roll I am looking for personally. I haven't achieved it yet. It's probably going to take me a while, but I have a decent roll on my trial today. So what I would pick is full bore for the increased range to match up with ricochet rounds, and then either dynamic sway or threat detector match up with tap the trigger. As you see here, I already have it active, but without it, I go from 47 stability all the way up to 87, which is pretty nice. And then Dynamic Sway adds 10 stability with also a better accuracy cone. But also, you can use Threat Detector if you want continuous stability, because you see here, it goes up pretty high, the stability, handling, and reload speed when Threat Detector is fully active. But yeah, I'm definitely going to test out the two of them so I can really test out what I feel is better. But yeah, a nice range of masterwork, and without anything active... We're sitting here at 70 range and 47 stability with some decent handling and one thing i noticed is the zoom is actually a tiny bit lower than like the out of bounds of the multi mock i'm not sure how much of one or two zoom really matters but i'm kind of curious to see how it plays in the crucible so yeah now let's hop into some games and try it out yeah we're here in a rumble match this guy's clueless all right we have desperate measures proc then we don't got that much range like that damn you got me Oh yeah, also the one I'm using has Threat Detector, Desperate Measures, Ricochet Rounds, Extended Barrel, and a Range Masterwork putting us at 65 range, which is pretty decent, especially for a 900. Seems like this Cheetah guy is going to be the main problem with this Pulse Rifle. Whoa, this thing's, a, this thing's actually pretty jumpy. A lot of side-to-side -side movement, it seems like, with the recoil pattern. I don't know what that guy's doing. Damn, you got to get the kill. Uh, I'm gonna push this way. Got him. <laughs> Is Desperate Measures invisible on the side? Do you see that? Got him. I'm low. I love the slug. Another one. First place. Got his ass. Damn, this kid just camping with the pulse, man. <laughs> he loves that LC's rifle. I gotta test that one out as well. Looks like no time, so I'm kind of curious to see if it holds up. I mean, so far, it just feels like the funnel web, but just with damage perks instead, because. Funnel Web really doesn't have any damage perks like that, so I mean, that's also nice about this, but yeah, it's nice to test it out, because I mean, I've been trying to get a decent roll for a little bit. I haven't had too much time to play Onslaught, but I've been having some fun playing it. Uh, he was really trying with that Shabby. <laughs> Free kill. Free Desperate Measures. Um... I think it's nice about Kill Clip and having reloaded is you kind of have time to get to your next opponent before the Kill Clip timer starts. You know, this just kind of starts right away, which is kind of annoying at some, some points, but it's definitely not terrible. Damn, that Pulse Rifle is beaming, dude. I need to get away from this guy. This map is kind of not the best for SMGs, but we're making it work so far. Pulse Kid's right here. Get rid of him. <clears throat> got heavy pulling up and the recoil is definitely something to get used to it's very jumpy but nothing we can't get used to uh -oh. i'll take the trade there's a kid right here where'd he go 
Or they trade. I think they might have trade. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I, dude, I just had a crazy problem with the recoil right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, I missed that. Damn, you get a double kill with that? Oh, that's not good. He's catching up. And he's got Blade Barrage. I'm just going to throw it right there, bro. Oh, damn. I sold. Oh, no. I got him to the side. He wasted his Blade Barrage, though. Get heavy. He might still have a chance. Nope, I lost. <laughs> You know, recoil is a little jumpy. I feel like the type of trigger would definitely be nice with the stability aspect. Desperate measures, I don't know. I mean, I can see it goes from about 20 damage to 24 to the head. So it's a decent increase, but I'm not too sure how I feel about it yet. Kill clip allowing me the time to reload and still move around and decide my next opponent is also nice. Procking it right away is also pretty cool, especially I guess if you're in a control game mode and you're really in a, you know, 1v2 situation. Like, I don't know, like golden tricorn and all that, I feel like can definitely get you more out of it especially since like out of bounds has golden tricorn which is very good especially if you can get two stacks on it so far it seems like it has a tiny bit less range than funnel web but a little bit more stability even though it feels like it doesn't i don't know it's interesting get him grenade oh, he's still alive okay he, he snapped him this map sh it'll be something for sure that guy's just <laughs> bot walking backwards i don't want to fight him right now I didn't even see me. Oh, I'm gonna die. Let's get in here. Pushing back out. Let's get right here somewhere. Got him. My last bullet. Oh, we got a fusion kid. I missed. Ah, oh, <laughs> if I didn't miss that shotgun shot, I would have had him. But yeah, it just seems. Like, it has higher stability, but I feel like with Tap and Trigger, it could definitely benefit greatly. I'll steal that kill all day. Yeah, like, Pedestrian Measure's already about to be out. I mean, just 900s have been feeling really nice lately, especially since Multimot comes back, or came back. I've been having a lot of fun using it. Oh, he didn't die? I thought I headshot him. He sorted me. <laughs> Look at him, he's crouching right there with Conditional. Dude, Titans, man. <laughs> Look at that. Gameplay. The slam. Got him. Got the perk again. Got his ass. I also know Master of Arms used to be better. But it was nerfed, which kind of sucks. Because, I mean, dude, if you saw that the the old damage you used to do without having to reload, like, that would be huge. But it just being 15% kind of, like, tanks the whole use of it. Like, there's really no point in using it. So, if it's between the two, I would definitely think Desperate Measures is more worth it. Because there is a possibility that you can extend it. It does a little bit less, but it's still not terrible. Yeah, I guess it all comes down to preference, but... I mean, it's just a funnel web. <laughs> it's really just the funnel web. Just has a little bit different recoil pattern, in my opinion. Because, I mean, not having to reload is kind of... I don't know, that kind of defeats the purpose. Because it's an SMG, you're going to have to reload anyways. Even with kill clip, like, you're not going to have enough bullets to kill a whole person again. Like, barely. If you get, like, super good shots. But no shot, you're going to be killing two people with one mag anyways. Like, you're going to have to end up reloading to begin with. So that's why I kind of see kill clip being... A more superior option but i'm kind of curious to see how it performs in pv i might have to watch some videos on that and test it out oh damn i just got fusioned tether just does not cut it in a lot of situations like, i'm just gonna shoot this because why not didn't even get him Came with my nade though i'm so dead wow i can't believe i survived that i'm gonna see if i can grab heavy I'll fight this guy for it. It's clueless. We got it. We got it. Oh, I need the other kill too. Why do you mean that? My that gun out. Oh, okay, one kill. We're within one kill right now. Let's go. Come on, turn around, dude. No. 
I would have won if I had one more second. Uh, GG's, though. <laughs> we actually we both got 20. It says. Uh, I defeated more opponents, okay? Man, come on. I did way better than him. I deserve to win. Wait, did I win? Wait, you got the last kill, but I won. Oh, is it because I have more opponents defeated and higher score or something? I, I don't know, but I'll take it. I don't play much Rumble, so I don't really know how it works. But yeah, right, guys, that was some gameplay with the Recluse. I'm still not too sold on it. It definitely is a nice feeling SMG. It's a little jumpy, but it's manageable. I'll most likely throw it into my vault and never think about it again, just because I feel there are so many other SMGs out there with way better perks. But it was still very fun to try out. Let me know what your opinions are on it in the comments below and what weapons you'd like me to try out next. And until next time, my name's Epoxy. Peace.